Hi everyone. When it comes to industrial projects, we often need wide-angle perspectives to present the overall scale effectively. To make the visuals look impressive and convincing for clients, adding trees and SketchUp scenes is a must. But here's the problem. Most tree models are very heavy. Using too many of them will cause your SketchUp and Unscape scenes to lag and become unresponsive. The solution? Convert your SketchUp tree model into an Unscape asset. This method dramatically improves performance while keeping the visuals sharp and detailed. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to convert a Montingia tree model from SketchUp into a reusable Unscape asset, perfect for industrial design. Let's get started. Before exporting, double check your Montingia tree model. Make sure everything is clean, no missing faces, no errors. Also, ensure the entire model is grouped properly for a smooth export process. Next, go to File Export 3D Model. You can export to any folder, but I usually save it in the same location as the SketchUp file to keep things organized. Make sure you export in FBX format. In the Export options, select the correct units, meters, or millimeters, and adjust other settings accordingly to preserve model integrity. Important note, group everything in the model and check for broken parts. It's best to inspect the model one last time, just to be sure it's error-free. Now, select the entire model and use the V-Ray toolbar to choose Export Proxy. In the Faces and Preview field, I typically enter 5000. This keeps the proxy looking close to the original model. Click Export and wait for the process to finish. Once your proxy model is ready, export it again, this time as an FBX file. Save it in the same folder and add a proxy suffix to the file name to avoid confusion with the original FBX file. Now open the Enscape Asset Library and click the plus button to create a new asset. Expand the interface window for better visibility and smoother workflow. On the right panel, click Import Geometry and locate the FBX file you exported earlier. Wait for the model to load in the preview window, then we'll move on to editing the materials. In the Materials panel, you'll see all the textures used in the model. Reload the image maps and the model will immediately look more realistic. Settings like Type, Albedo, Height Map, and Reflection should already be familiar, so I won't go over them in detail. Just fine-tune everything and your asset will look high quality in Onscape. After material editing is complete, click the camera icon to capture a thumbnail. This will be used to display your asset visually in the Onscape library. Now link the Proxy FBX model. Navigate to the folder where you saved the file with the launch proxy suffix. Click Show in Preview to see how it looks inside SketchUp. If everything looks good, hit Save Changes and Export. That's it, the conversion is complete. Pretty straightforward, right? Now open Escape and let's test the asset. Just drag and drop the tree into your project and align it to the grid. It only takes seconds to build a complete row of trees. The best part? It's super lightweight when rendering. Even on large-scale industrial scenes, your file stays smooth. No lag, no crashes, just clean performance. And if you want to change the tree model later, simply update the asset file. Every instance in your project updates automatically. It's fast, clean, and professional. That's why I always recommend. For landscaping in industrial projects, use Enscape tree assets. They're beautiful, lightweight, and project-ready.